checklist for seeing the banana slug that ate the world. Solar heated s'mores set to cook, check. JD, what science-based snack are you making for movie night? A new generation of pizza toppings. All I need now is... Gooey McGooey's Pizza Delivery. Is this the right address? I've got an extra large pizza here for JD. Whoa! Here you go, pal. I brought my friends to help carry. What the what? That's your Gooey McGooey's signature extra large pizza. You're kidding us, right? The four of us are storming! Oh, in that case, you should have ordered Gooey McGooey's signature bucket of tiny pizzas. And please leave a Gooey good review online. Ah. ah, I feel like I'm almost on vacation. So relaxing. Von Bolt! Ah! Sorry, Von Bolt! Whoa! I'm okay! Von Bolt, these parabolic mirrors are for heating my s'mores! And by the looks of it, we might only have s'mores for snacks tonight. Not so fast. I've still got a plan for pizza. Von Bolt, have you got the shrink ray? Yeah. Right here. It doubles as a vacuum cleaner. The shrink rate reduces the empty space in atoms, right? Yeah. So, in reverse, it should make things bigger by expanding that space. We really can make my pizza super extra mega jumbo large. Can I clean up this oily mess first? After you zap our puny pizza. I'm hungry. Looks good. Yummy. Mmm, I'm hungry. And my experimental pizza toppings will make it the best pizza ever. First, I have special Kaflui enzymes. Enzymes are molecules that start chemical reactions in biological structures like your stomach or even pizza cheese. It's the long enzyme strings in cheese that make it chewy. This spray will make the enzyme strings super long, making the cheese topping extra, extra chewy. Tomatoes naturally have 10 different acids in them, and these special alkaline spices will counteract the acidity in the pizza sauce to make it tastier too. And finally, Mushrooms are preserved in vinegar, which adds flavor and kills bacteria. It's called pickling. Hurry it up, JD. Five minutes to the monster movie. A work of art. Bring it along, Von Bolt. Yeah, my pleasure. Ah, oh, 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 Okay, then, who's ready for pizza? Von Bolt? Are we all ready to be scared? I don't think we're alone. up in a jiffy. JD, are you all right? We need some help. Mmm, tasty. Hmm, 
Hmm, I see your culinary science experiment had some unexpected results. Yes, Mr. Edison. Blowing up that pizza turned it into the worst snack food ever. It was perfectly normal before J.D. added the toppings. Are you saying this is all my fault? I may have sort of zipped it again with the growth ray. Maybe the reverse shrink ray also reversed J.D.'s toppings in a weird way. The cheese is now strong and ropey. And the pickled mushrooms made it fresher, even mutating the pizza dough's yeast, which is another form of fungus, to come to life. And at the rate it's growing, we'll soon be neck deep in mozzarella and sauce. At least no one else knows about this. It's outside! What do you want for dinner tonight? Anything, beloved. <laughs> Just not Italian. On the west side, traffic appears to be slowing down for a giant pizza. Giant pizza? You'd think an extra large pizza would be big enough for my family's dinner. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Never mind. Now that is fast food. We've set a giant dinner loose on the world. We've got to do something. J.D., might I suggest you speak to one of the earliest researchers of culinary science, Louis Mallard. Von Bolt, the virtual reality window. Welcome to Mayards! Apprez-vous! I thought we were visiting a laboratory! This is a laboratory! Safety goggles, please! You're a scientist who studies food? While studying kidney illnesses, I observed the reaction between amino acids, the organic compounds that make up proteins, and sugars. And that led me to more food studies. And there is no reason research cannot be delicious. And I discovered the process that <laughs> is called the Maillard reaction. Observe. A complex reaction between amino acids and sugars that, in cooking, gives bread its wonderful golden brown crust. And steaks their delicious crunchy char. Yummy, no? So, if you had a giant mutated pizza with gooey cheese, heating it enough might cause a Maillard reaction to harden the outside and it would stop moving. The crust, we, oui. The cheese, technically, no. It is only sugars in cheese that become crusty. Without amino acids, the process is called caramelization. Thanks, Professor Maillard. Yeah, thanks, Chef Maillard. It is time to win this one for the Gipper. Every dog has its day. Our movie is still running. We should really check the news. Nikki, this is the news. Fall back, man. When the gong gets tough, make like a tree and split. A giant pizza is headed for the city plaza where there is a convention for the lactose intolerant, primarily cheese, society. I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, and? Lactose intolerant people can't digest the sugar found in cheese and milk. They could all be sick for days. Want some cheese? <laughs> Let's focus the sun's rays with these mirrors to solar cook the pizza. The Maillard reaction will rebake the yeast and the cheese will caramelize to create a crunchy crust, stopping its tentacles. <laughs> Sounds like a delicious plan to me. Aim the sunlight at the pizza! Now! We need bigger mirrors! Bigger mirrors would 
focus more solar energy and work faster. We need them bigger? I love the smell of baking bread. Finally, it's showtime. We never did get any dinner. Tacos! I have this great idea how to make tacos taste even better. Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.